Welcome to Knock Bro Nation. I'm Josh Nasita. Jarrell Haney. Justin Nasita here. And today we're going to be reviewing Kill or Be Killed Issue 1. Now I know this is the trade here, uh, but we're going to be just reviewing the first issue of Kill first or Be issue. Killed today. Yep. Uh, awesome series by Image, Very. and uh, the writer is Ed Brubaker. The artist is Sean Phillips, and the colorist is Elizabeth Breitweiser. Yep. Uh, assuming I'm getting that right one, that last one right. Yep. But yeah. Ed, uh, yep. Ed Brubaker's done some other comics. He's written for Captain America, uh, oh, Daredevil, wow. and Uncanny X Men. So um, you'll probably see him if you read some of those other issues. But uh, really great writer, does a great job, and this is a really good comic. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So kill or be killed. Um, Let's get so into it. Go, go ahead. Let's so get uh, basically, how it starts off is it's showing basically. Um, Kind of in the future, a couple panels of him already kind of killing killing people. some people, <laughs> um, but you're getting basically the blocks. Uh, some uh, you know he's talking to himself in there, and he yeah. eventually says, you know, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Let's go back and start then he does where the story begins, yep. and it kind of goes to a flashback, and it kind of sees him with uh, his previous girlfriend Daisy. Um, they're on a bus, and she's getting catcalled by some guys, and he's not really Dylan's not a tough guy. He's very kind of very sweet, very soft, um, very you know, kind of also like an introvert, and he yeah. doesn't he doesn't do anything. Not strong. He's not strong, so he doesn't do anything, and they kind of fight for the rest of the night because yeah. he thinks that she wants him to be a tough guy. So it, it was really interesting that kind of piece. To well, see. he get, he he's Daisy's getting catcalled, right? And mm -hmm. he does nothing to he, stick all, up for her. All right? he does is like turn around and give them a mean look, and they're like. What's up, dude? What are you gonna do? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he he obviously doesn't do anything doesn't at that really point, know, so. um, you know. And then so Daisy's mad. They they end up arguing the whole night. And yeah, what, 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 the night. Do we? Uh, is that when we cut to Mason and and Kira? Yeah, yeah. We well, cut so to Mason and Kira. Okay, so we get Kira, which is Dylan's best friend, mm -hmm. right? Been yeah. his best friend, I think, since they were kids. I think ever since they were kids. Yeah, yeah. and uh, Mason is his friend slash roommate. Right. Um, so they're living together now Kira is actually dating Mason at the time mm -hmm. yeah. um, and we get to see Dylan kind of he's okay he's, with that he's, right now well, he, but he's always really. had feelings for yeah. Kira he's always kind of been in love with her he's kind of sad because you know Kira comes over to the apartment to hang out with Mason and he doesn't they don't get you know they don't get to hang out that much anymore Dylan and Kira so yeah. he feels a little sad because he can't tell her his true feelings but yep. he's lost his best friend in a way yep. so but he but she is still one of the only things that is really good in his life right now yeah. but then so. uh, one night uh, Mason went and got pizza yeah so and, and then the Mason, whole story kind of changed Mason goes for a pizza a little bit, run yeah. and what yeah. happens when Mason goes for a pizza so run like here uh, <laughs> all of a sudden hops on Dylan and just gives him a kiss and yeah, before, yeah. they know, start making out. out and that that kind of becomes their thing every time she would come over and like Dylan would go into the kitchen and grab a drink she'd go in there and that would be their thing they would just make out whenever Mason's not yeah. in the room but they would never talk about anything yep, they never talked about it yeah. they always had those intimate situations mm -hmm. when Mason was out uh, and then that's it, right? That's pretty so, much it. That's how it so went for a while. Then we see Dylan, who is in his room and kind of overhears Kira and Mason talking about him, right? right. Mm -hmm. And Kira makes a statement that she feels sorry for him, right? Um, and that kind of upsets Dylan because he always, you know, that was his friend. That was the one right. person that he thought understood him. Should right? have understood him for the longest time. Yeah. She's been there forever. She knows who he is, what he's going through, and for him to hear her say that really pushed him to yeah. the end and pushed him to the edge he decided literally to i am done i feel so alone i'm so hurt yeah. i'm going to kill myself yep so he attempts to jump off the roof jump off the roof gets of the apartment on like the the laundry, the laundry lines, lines that are in between <laughs> the buildings gets tangled up and then he falls six flights yeah and He's alive. Nothing yeah. No yeah. bones broken. He's just kind of bruised a bit. Oh. But when he finally falls, he's kind of, you know, as he's falling, you also see in the panel that he's kind of wishing that he didn't do it. He's stating, why am I doing yeah. this? I'm being so such an instant idiot. Instant regret. Right? Instant regret. Yeah. And But once he opens his eyes from after falling, he is immediately kind of in love with life. He kind of says, oh my, it, the snow is so beautiful right now. Yeah. He's just in love with, I'm so happy to be alive. The, the, what's that one movie? Um, uh, American 
something American, American Beauty. American the Beauty, The plastic yeah. bag. The plastic bag. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much beauty in There's this so world. much beauty. <laughs> <laughs> What's in the box? <laughs> no, that is different. I know. That is different. <laughs> But you know, so we yeah. we see obviously his change of 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 mind, right? Change of mind, uh, yeah. You know, and he and he goes to bed that night, right, mm -hmm. with yep. kind of a clear conscience. What clear conscience? Of, you know. Yeah, you know, and he also thought maybe I should tell Kira my feelings, but yeah. he's like, I'll I'll wait until the morning. I'm just gonna go to bed right but now. But something happens. A something demon. Something mysterious happens. What was it, Justin? Well, a demon shows a up. A demon. A freaky demon. He thinks it's like, a with, dream. With like demon. sharp eyes, buggy eye, horns, horns, and like it's like a out. black cloud that yeah. comes out. You know, basically yeah. says, what, "What? What's the? I forgot the line. It's an awesome line about like a life for." He a, he basically tells him that, uh, um, what you're going to kill for me. Because second chances don't come, second chances don't come often, yep. and don't it's time cheap. for you to pay. Yep. And he says, you, "In Dylan asks him, how how do I do that?" And he says, "A life for a life. Yep. You're going to kill for me. People, bad people who deserve to die, one a month." And he compares it to paying rent, that, which is awesome. Because he mentions that the, the line is, yep. uh, "Rent for the life that you tried to throw away." Yep. And keep in mind, when he mentioned his second chance, previously Dylan tried to kill himself before he took uh, pills, and he ended up just blacking out. He woke up in a hospital. He got kicked out of college, and he mentions that he's like an eight-year grad student right now yep. <laughs> because he's so behind. So, so Dylan thinks this is some kind of nightmare, and doesn't believe this it. is ridiculous. Doesn't believe it, and mm -hmm. the demon actually takes his arm and like breaks, breaks. it, snaps it, and here's Dylan wakes up, not wakes up, not wakes but up. realizes, awake. <laughs> shit, this is real, this is real, and yells. There's commotion. Kira hears right. it. Mm -hmm. uh, goes to. Dylan's, you know, rescue and, yep. and Dylan says, take me to the hospital and, yep. and you know, goes to the hospital and, right. and you know, gets fixed up. Yeah. But he basically says, you know, he had to lie to her. He's like, oh, I fell or yep. whatever. Yep. So he can't really say because he truly does, just, still doesn't he believe say, that a, it's a real. demon just came out. Exactly. And, he still you know. doesn't believe it's real. <laughs> so we get to the point where now Dylan is kind of coming to grips with the fact that, oh, I go oh, crap. I, I actually do need to do this. Well, yeah, he right. doesn't. It, it comes a little bit later. He, uh, with about a week left, he starts getting really ill, and yep, he gets right. really, really sick. And he, he's kind of thinking, did the demon? Is the demon doing this? Is this nightmare killing me? I have no idea. So he decides to finally go to the hospital. And as he's walking to the hospital, he gets a basically a two by four to the back of his head. He gets jumped by two guys. Don't know if they're well, bombs. We, we, we don't know, know if they're homeless. That. We don't know if they're yeah. homeless or yeah or not or, or whatnot. But uh, but. Basically, he gets jumped by two guys, yep. and one of the guys says, what, one week? Basically, he they have him on his knees with a gun to the back of his head, yep. and he says, you, uh, he says, the guy says, listen up, but then it changes to the voice of the demon that says, one <laughs> yep. more day. Yep, one more day. And then day. they hit him over the face with a the gun, they leave him there, he's bleeding, and he finally comes to grasp with, I have to decide of who I gotta kill in one day. Yep. <laughs> I have to do this because if I don't, then the demon's gonna take me. I'm gonna die. Yeah. So, and what's really what's really funny about that is I when I read it, I th I still think that maybe the demon took over those two individuals yeah. somehow, possessed them, whatever, to find him, beat the crap out of him, to send a message that I'm for real. I told you what you have to do. This is what you're gonna I'm do. I'm for real. I'm for real. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so issue one, awesome issue. Very great. That was Very pretty good. much the whole thing. That's right? pretty much the whole issue. Yeah. I mean, we kind of went. Well, thanks cover for to letting cover. me get in there, guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> well, you're, you're like, there I am trying to butt in. But. So, <laughs> so he literally just got finished catching up. This is one I just series read it. that he has yeah. not caught up on. So as he's as we're talking, he's like, okay, a demon. Well, actually, out. I just read it before, and <laughs> yeah. I really enjoyed it. Uh, yep. I just read it about ten minutes ago, and I think it's an awesome start. Yeah. And I can't actually yeah. wait to take the trade out of your hands and go read it now. <laughs> because so it's you're, pretty good. If you're like him, and you like this kind of this story. Sounds good. Well, again, you know, we did spoil it for you, but but read it anyway. It's a good series. Uh, leave your comments, questions below. Uh, if you like what you what you saw, uh, hit the subscribe button. Uh, <laughs> like our video. We got more reviews to come of Kill or Be Killed and a lot more stuff uh, oh, yeah. for our channel. Definitely. Yep. Sounds right. good. All right. Okay. I'm gonna go read it now. <laughs> we're not right, Nation, and we're, we're out. out.